Connor, it was a, uh, a fun fight tonight for sure, and I think you proved some doubters wrong. But, uh, of course, you know MMA fans want to know when they're going to get you back in the UFC cage. <clears throat> I'm young, I'm fresh, and I'm ready. I mean, I was just tired in there, I feel. You know what I mean? He caught me with some nice shots, but I wasn't dazed or rattled or anything like that. So I was just bollocksed, is the term we call it in Ireland. So um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to hit. I beat it. a childhood friend of mine is getting married. I'm going to charter out a 100 foot yacht, maybe for a day. Fuck that pain for the whole thing, the whole whack. Um, and just rally it for a day, have a big party on it, take a load of pictures, and then just get the fuck off it. <laughs> um, that's, that's probably my plans. And then I'll see what's next. You, uh, you built to this o over a long time. You saw this. Uh, I certainly you wanted to get the win, but, but what's next? How can you take this to the next level? What's the next vision? <sighs> Haven't I? I don't know. Uh, this was some buzz to come in and face this man. And, do, and you know, so many doubters, so many, it's never going to happen. Like, even thinking it's never going to happen. Remember that time. This fight is never going to happen. And I always stood like, we can get this fight happen. Then it was like, I'm not going to lay a glove. And there were so many things to overcome. And I just enjoyed the whole experience. So I'm just relishing in it for now. I have many options in, 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 in mixed martial arts. I'm sure uh, there's options now that will present themselves in the boxing game. I'm a f right now, I'm a free agent. My name is on the ring. There you go, McGregor Sports and Entertainment on the ring, in a boxing ring. That's something to be proud of, and I'm, ve I'm very proud of that. So I'll see what's, what's next, but I'm open. I love competing. I love a good fight. Tonight was a damn good fight, and that's why you're seeing me up here with my head, my, my, my heart, um, um, uh, you know what I mean? Show my heart. Um, I enjoyed myself, and, and, and that's it. Long may I continue, and we'll see what's next. I can't tell you exactly what's next, but no, something will be next. Connor, Hercules with Telemundo. Um, you said you saw the fight five to four when, when it was stopped. Um, one of the judges had you winning the first three rounds where you were clearly the, clearly the aggressor and Floyd was studying your style, but the other two judges had it eight to one in favor of Floyd. Does that surprise you a bit? I, I, think, that's, I think that's very, very biased. I, I'm actually shocked at that. I thought I won the first three rounds clearly. Fourth round could be argued either way. We'll say 3-1. And then he took over, he started to take over then, and I thought I, took, I snuck in eight, round eight. Then he won nine, and then got the stoppage in 10. So what was that, 5-4 five, five, in, into, the, into the final round, and he got the win. But in reality, all that means nothing. He got the win. Respect to him. I enjoyed it. I thought I'd done okay. You know, I thought I switch hit it. I switch hit it a few times. He was wide to that. I know Paul, he was on the phone to him, telling him certain movements. But I switched through the lead hook. And he pulled from it a few times beautifully. Then I switched it up and hit the, switched and hit the lead to the body. I caught him once or twice with that. But he's a smooth operator in there. He's not 50 and 0 for no reason. Um, so I just, enjoyed, I just enjoyed the whole process of it. I would have likened to seeing the final bell. I think, I think I deserve to see the final bell, but what can you do?